This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1432, How to Minimize Holiday Stress by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. And I'm your very own personal narrator, Justin Mollick, reading to you from some amazing blogs and books to help you optimize your life. But first, I'd like to share why I've been raving to all my friends about Bowl and Branch. I love getting a good night's sleep, and the luxury organic sheet sets from Bowl and Branch are super nice. They help me in my quest for blissful slumber. Later, I'll tell you more about the Buttersoft bed sheets I ordered. The shipping is always free. You can try them out for 30 nights risk-free. And right now, you get $50 off your first set of sheets at bowlandbranch.com with promo code OLD. Get $50 off at bowlandbranch.com, promo code O-L-D, spelled B-O-L-L and branch.com, code O-L-D. Now let's get right to it as we optimize your life. How to Minimize Holiday Stress by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. Feeling a little overwhelmed by your holiday to-do list? This time of year, our to-do lists tend to get jam-packed with extra parties, events, or tasks we do simply because we feel like we should, when really we should be enjoying the season with the people we love most. So today, I wanna help you de-stress with four tips to minimize holiday stress. How to Minimize Holiday Stress. Tip number one, Check your calendar for regularly scheduled events that can be temporarily postponed or canceled. What do you have regularly scheduled on a weekly or monthly basis, maybe a weekly meetup, a conference call, or a coaching group that you should really consider postponing this month? Most people will probably be relieved that you did and thankful they don't have to come up with an excuse as to why they can't attend this time. I know you type A's will try to talk yourselves into keeping these things on your schedule saying, it doesn't really take up that much time or, I could probably squeeze it in between X, Y, and Z. But let me ask you this, in terms of your business or workload, is it really that big of a deal if you slow down a little this month? Rather than trying to get more customers and do more things, why not use December as a cleanup month? Use this time of year to pull back, reflect on what you've done, and take a look at where you want to go and what you want to do in the coming year. Look specifically at the things you do that move you forward. Get organized and create systems that allow you to spend more time with your family. Consider saying to the people you have commitments with, we all have so much going on in December. How about we spend this time with our loved ones and pick this up again in the new year? Believe me, by doing this, you'll be giving everyone a gift. Tip number two, don't be afraid to delegate. One of the best things I ever did to make my holiday season less stressful and more fun is outsourcing the buying, wrapping, and delivering of gifts. Yes, I personally come up with the gift and put the thought into it. But that's just it. It's the thought that counts. Do you really need to spend another two to three plus hours driving to the mall, finding a parking spot, searching through crowded stores, buying the gift wrapping and adding the little bows and tchotchkes and knickknacks on top? For what? So someone can say, wow, did you wrap this? And you can say, yes, yes, I did that. Isn't it the thought that really counts? Not the time you spent going to the store and wrapping it? So don't be afraid to delegate these things. Oh, and while we're on the subject, hello, Amazon, you can buy anything and everything on Amazon and it comes super fast. You come up with the gifts, then for a minimum wage or a little more, hire a college student who's home for the holidays with nothing to do, looking to make a little extra money to do the shopping and gift wrapping for you. And instead, use that time to get ahead and do the things in your core competency. Your time is worth more than $15 an hour. You're not saving yourself any money by doing these things yourself. Use that time to get organized in your business and do the things that move you forward so you can spend more time with your family and the people you care about. Have an open mind. When you finally embrace this concept, it will change your life. You'll have more wealth and abundance when you realize doing everything yourself isn't saving your money, it's costing you. Tip number three, it's okay to drop that. I'm talking about that thing you've become known for during the holidays that you feel pressure to follow through on. Maybe you're known for making your famous apple pies for all of your relatives and the neighbors, or everyone looks forward to the scarves you knit them each year, or you're known for hosting the big holiday party. But if this thing has become more of a burden than something that brings you joy, why are you doing it? Are you doing it simply so you don't have to hear people say, where are your apple pies this year? Because that's not a good enough reason. I used to do this with family Christmas cards. Each year I try to outdo the year before in terms of comedy, coming up with some crazy idea for a funny Christmas card. I'd spend a lot of time on it and all of a sudden it felt like a lot of pressure. So one year, I just decided not to do it. And I felt a huge sense of relief. 
why don't you consider taking a year off from the thing you're known for that causes you stress and see how you feel? If you really miss it and realize it actually brings you joy to do these things, then keep doing them. But if you feel a sense of relief by taking it off your plate, you don't need to do it anymore. I think sometimes we get caught up in traditions and expectations other people have for us and allow it to control our holiday season. But if it doesn't actually bring you joy and feels like more of a burden, just drop it. And tip number four, decline invitations. This is the task that can be the most difficult, but also the most rewarding. You know that holiday tradition with your extended family that has been going on for years, but it's a pain in the butt? It's not enjoyable anymore, and it's become an inconvenience for your family? That thing you feel like you have to do just because you've always done it? Or that party with your coworkers that aren't necessarily your first choice of people you like to spend your time with, but you feel like you have to be there? Or a gift exchange with a group you're part of in the community that just adds more stuff to your plate? I'm giving you permission to decline those invitations. This is a written excuse. Doing something just because I've always done it or people expect me to be there isn't a good enough reason to do it. Use the thanks for thinking of me, let me check my calendar and get back to you approach. Or simply let people know you have a lot going on this holiday season and won't be able to make it this year. You don't owe anyone any more of an explanation than that. Cut down on the things you're not looking forward to and you'll also cut down on your stress. I hope you'll consider putting these tips into action this year. Use this time to reflect, refocus, and reorganize. Do the things that will allow you to spend more time focusing on your priorities. And remember that this time of year isn't about being stressed out and adding more things to your plate because of the holidays. It's about spending more quality time with the people you love most and celebrating the true meaning of the holiday. You just listened to the post titled How to Minimize Holiday Stress by Shalene Johnson of shalenejohnson.com. And thank you again to Bowl and Branch. As I mentioned before, I love the luxury flannel bedding by Bull & Branch because of their attention to detail and commitment to ethical production and quality. The classic hem sheet set that I got is a durable, high-quality item that fits into my minimalist lifestyle. The bed sheets have a simple design, and best of all, they help me stay asleep because they're just so insanely comfortable. Shipping is always free, and you try them out for 30 nights risk-free, and right now you get $50 off your first set of sheets at bullandbranch.com with promo code OLD. Get $50 off at bullandbranch.com, promo code OLD. Spelled B-O-L-L and branch.com, code OLD. I'll leave it there for today. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.